I have just one question, Sheridan. Why? I didn't Is this your way of getting back at me? No, I swear well, then I didn't. what was it? It's Halloween. I was just trying to have a little fun. I, I thought you were Hank. Hank? We were on our way to the youth center dance when Hank was trying to show me how the kids of Harmony have fun on Halloween by trick-or-treating and pulling pranks on each other. I was just trying to get in the spirit. The spirit? I never meant to hit you with the pies. I mean, do you really believe I, I would hit you with, with your sense of humor? Uh, what I mean to say is... I know what you mean. You have a big... Room. Sheridan, just go away. But... Uh, Sheridan, now. I want that mugger apprehended and booked ASAP, Chief Bennett. Uh, having him on the loose makes me look like a fool after my war on crime election platform. I want the streets of Harmony safe. What the hell is this? Mr. Mayor, what's going on, Luis? We've got a dangerous felon at large, and this officer is playing Halloween pranks. Officer Lopez Fitzgerald is one of my finest men. He's a disgrace. What's this? Another officer making a fool of himself? Trick or treat! I'm not a cop. What's going on? It's all my fault. I've got to explain. Excuse Back me. Back off, Sherry. My Oh, is that so, officer? From the looks of things, I'm not so sure you're up to handling anything. I've got a good mind to fire you. Just hang on a minute, Mr. Mayor. I mean, we're assuming that this is the police officer's fault. At least give him a chance to explain himself. I'm listening. Louise, tell him what happened. It wasn't anyone's fault. It was, it was a misunderstanding. I'll, uh, I'll get myself cleaned up and get back on doing it. Everything's under control. Oh, is that what you think, officer? Louise! I assure you, Mr. Mayor, my only concern tonight is apprehending the mother. And just what were you planning on subduing him with, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald? Another one of your cream pies? No, I was prowling around this area when no, I... No, you know, no, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Every time I hear your name, Lopez Fitzgerald, you're causing me another one of your problems. That's not true, Mr. Mayor. It... Don't tell me that this is the officer that you recommended for a promotion to detective. Yes, it is. Officer Lopez Fitzgerald is one of my finest men. He has a spotless record. You know, he's very fortunate to have you in his corner. So I'm going to do him a favor. I'm not going to fire him for his shameful behavior. But I'll be damned if he ever makes detective while I'm in office. I'm sorry, Luis. I'm going to try to talk to him. have to believe me, Luis. I didn't know I was throwing the pies at you. I thought you were Hank because of the uniform. It's true. We were just fooling around in the spirit of the holiday. I got her with a water balloon. And I was going to get him back with the cream pies. I never meant to hit you. I am so sorry for getting you in trouble with the mayor. You have been in my face ever since the day I ran into you. Scratch that. The day that you ran into me. But I didn't mean to do... That's what you've been saying this whole time. And all I know is that I am counting the minutes until you finish your community service so that I do not have to see your face again. Believe me, the feelings are mutual. Wait a minute. You're supposed to be putting in some time tonight. Why aren't you and Hank chaperone in the dance we at the center? We were way over there when all this went down, okay? Sheridan, sure, let's go. Forget it. It's practically over now. Well, don't blame her for it. Oh, I know. That's right. It's never her fault. What is the matter with you? I admit that I'm wrong. Why can't you just accept a genuine apology? An apology? From you? No, thanks. I don't want anything from you. Just stay away from me and let me do my job. Officer. Miss Crane was kind enough to take the time to explain to me what really happened earlier. I already did that, sir. You neglected to tell me that uh, Miss Crane was the instigator. 
As such, I would like to amend what I said. The incident will not be counted against you. Uh, there's no question of your being fired. And you're back in line for promotion to detective. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Well then, no harm done. Wonderful to see you, Sheridan. Please give my regards to your brother and father. Of course. Good night, then. Good night. Now you expect me to get down on my hands and knees and thank you? Hardly. In fact, I don't expect anything from you. I was just trying to right a wrong. I hope I did. Why? So you can lord it over me from now on? You know, you are unbelievable. Just so you understand, I don't need any help from you or any other high and mighty crane. I'm not like everyone else in this town who scrapes and bows before you. I'll make detective on my own. Not so fast, Louise. I'm not finished with you yet. You'll have to excuse me, but I'm on duty. See, some of us poor suckers have to work for a living, you know? Enough of the zingers already! I get that you hate my guts because my last name is Crane. I feel bad about what I did to you tonight. I want to make it up to you. You've done enough already. But I can do more. Whether you like it or not, my family has a lot of pull in this town. My father can call the mayor and put in a good word for you. He'll listen to him. You'll get your promotion before you even know it. Let me tell you something, Sheridan. If I thought that for one minute I made detective because of someone in your family, I'd turn it down flat. I'll either earn it myself or I don't want it. You know, you are the most impossible, insufferable man I've ever known. You really want to do something for me? Finally. You're letting reason win out over your macho pride. What can I do? Stay the hell out of my life!